Brandon, we're gonna have to do it again. <laughs>Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot with Ray, and I'm here in the beautiful downtown Orlando right now. I have a shoot coming right up that I'm about to start with one of my clients. His name is Brandon, and we're going to be doing a lifestyle and branding shoot uh, for Brandon. I want you guys to step behind the scenes with me, kind of see what's going on in a vlog format. Um, this is where I'm at right now really bright skies but that's okay today we're going to be shooting natural light and the reason i'm doing that is for a few reasons one he requested natural light two the photos that we're creating um call for natural light i really don't feel like using um, off-camera flash today on top of that i am by myself so carrying around camera flash especially downtown would be kind of wouldn't be ideal it wouldn't be super easy to do um, you know, a lot of photographers struggle with that, especially if they don't have an assistant or if they don't have someone that they can count on in terms of carrying your equipment and things like that. So for that reason, we're gonna be using natural light, ambient light, which I'm really good at anyways. Without sounding arrogant, I'm really good at lighting. I want you guys to step behind the scenes with me and check out what we're gonna create today. start walking this way yeah I'm gonna have you walk back all right and then that's good right there For this project being that it's lifestyle and branding, um, we don't necessarily have to create a lot of poses or a lot of like uh, staged photos. It's more or less going to be more natural, candid stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the best lighting ever. This stuff is going on social media. This stuff is going on the website. So whenever you're thinking of specific lifestyle shots like this, it all, it all depends on the clients. Um, and what their deliverables will be like, but it also depends on exactly how you want to attack that plan uh, when it comes to your photo shoot. So keep in mind that if it's not something really crazy, detail specific, you can go with a 800 shutter speed on a really bright day like this. Um, and just, just walk around and shoot, you know? You don't have to be super, not every photo shoot needs to be super specific and super perfect. If the client's happy, then you're happy. And if, if you're happy, then everybody's gonna be happy. So just make sure your client's happy, all right? Something I wanted to point out when it comes to using natural light is, I'm always looking for a cloudy day, but when it's super bright out, it's not super good for a photographer. I can work with sunlight, throw an ND filter on the camera or something like that. I'm not afraid to shoot in direct sunlight. I would just throw my shutter speed super high. Um, but other than that, I like to look for cloud coverage. It gives us the best, best light possible for natural light. Uh, one of my best friends, Casey Russell, he's a photographer too. He calls it the largest softbox in the sky and it's true it is literally considered a softbox yet it's in the sky and it's great so right now behind me is super super bright obviously the sun's coming from up there so guys we're not too far from lake eola in downtown orlando and what i'm doing right now is uh i just realized that it's a little difficult to work with a camera in one hand another camera in your other hand right here and uh, not have a tripod or camera holster today i'm working with the book bag honestly i don't remember the brand name of this book bag so i do apologize i'm not carrying my condition one i wanted to carry less today just walking around we're moving from place to place so i just wanted to be sure that i didn't have too much with me so for that reason i pretty much decided not to use my condition one and 
just throw on a book bag and that's pretty much it so what i'm doing right now is walking to the second location with the client i forgot my camera straps so i can't carry my camera and my camera straps and um, now i have to hold it with my hand so it's all right we improvise and we keep going <laughs> Brandon, we're gonna have to do it again. <laughs> right there, just standing right there, that's perfect. Stay right there, I'm gonna get this behind you right here. And then this time you're looking at the camera though. These will be like about Brandon, about, not just a slight bit, just a little bit. You like to smile in your pictures or no? You wanna get like a smiling shot? This one. I'm gonna get a mid body now, so mid body. And then this time we're gonna do a full body shot, full body. Same thing. And then one more time, and with a smile. Nice, there you go. Guys, so forget everything I said about my camera holster, I got one. So this is this is the funny story, check this out. So I traditionally use the Corio camera holster, camera sling, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but in my car, I didn't have my Corio. I had my Holdfast moneymaker in the car. I forgot all about it, it was there. And I got lucky, I got lucky because I was able to put my camera on a holster so I don't have to hold it when I'm walking around or working. The cool thing is I have hands free. So that's awesome. But I gotta, I gotta put you onto something. Don't tell whole fast I showed you guys this, but I jimmy rigged the bottom. Technically that orange piece is not part of the hold fast moneymaker holster. It is part of my tripod, my Manfrotto tripod, but hey, it works, right? Just don't tell whole fast I told you guys that. <laughs> but no, shout outs to hold fast, man. Hold fast is one of my favorites. This one and the Corio. It's one of my favorites because I use it at the weddings when I'm carrying dual bodies, when I'm carrying two bodies and I'm working, it comes in handy, it comes in clutch. Your cameras don't fall, they're secure, they're available to you at any given moment. You just pick them up and you get to work. Shout out to Holdfast, shout out to Corio, both great companies, both great brands for camera holsters. It's all amazing. And then some smile shots just to have it. All right, let's get you like right up, like leaning on this a little bit. And I'm gonna do something from this side going that way. Yeah, that's cool right there. There you go. Looking straight ahead that way now. Nice. Guys, I wanted to say something too. So all of the gear that you see me using in my channel, please keep in mind, I am not a sellout. I, I hate to say it that way, but I'm not a sellout. This is not what I do. Any gear that you see me using, co-signing on my channel, is because I actually use it. It's because I actually do like it, I enjoy using it, and I can speak on it, and I can definitely co-sign it. You would never see me using any sort of gear and lying about it just so you guys can, can, can use it and I can make some money, commission, whatever. That's not how I function. Maybe other people function like that. That's not how I function. Maybe other people function like that, but that's not me at all. So keep in mind, any single time I speak on any gear on this channel, I'm honestly, and transparently working with you guys and telling you guys, go ahead and go buy it, go spend your money on it. Times are tough. There's no money to waste right now. So I understand 100%. So if I co-sign on some gear, just keep in mind, it's Ray Alvarez approved. <laughs>